What's going on, my dudes? One step here with the ultimate beginner's guide to Arya in multiverses. Giving you some tips and tricks on how to play Arya, some best strategies to keep in mind, some perk recommendations, fun starting combos, and more. So without further ado, let's get into it. Subscribe here for more multiverses content and let's talk about Arya. Arya is a uh, is the very definition of a glass cannon. She will tear you to shreds, but then she'll kind of die pretty quickly. And that's expected as she is an assassin class. With that being said, let's talk about uh, the biggest tips and tricks regarding her moveset and just her as a character overall. First of all, as Arya is an assassin, she does more damage to her opponents when she hits them from the back. Hits them from the back. So if our opponent is turned away from us like this and we hit them, that is more damage. Now, if you want a guarantee hit from the back, for a down special, this will break armor and make your next hit hit them from the back. So you'll see our opponent is facing us when we do this and we do like a neutral attack, for example. You saw for a brief moment, the attack connected as if our opponent was turned away from us. Also, when playing duos, that down special in the air or on the ground will bring you to your ally and give them the same benefit. They can now break armor and they will also hit your opponent from the back. Back. If Arya rings out an opponent, she will spawn a pie like this. And that pie right here, if our opponent eats it, they will be slowed down. If our ally eats it, they will be healed. So you see how our opponent right there ate the pie. Now they are slowed down. It doesn't last very strong, but still a pretty good advantage. Also, when Arya's ally is knocked out, she will then become enraged, dealing maximum stacks of weaken on her next attack. One of my favorite moves that she's got is actually her down attack on the ground. It side switches our opponent, hitting them from the back, and it always catches your opponent off guard. They like try to dodge out of it, but also you kind of dodge as well, and then you got the surprise on them. Keep in mind, you can charge your up attack on the ground. You can charge your aerial side attack. You can charge your down air. And the reason why charging is great is it allows you to control the timing of when that attack is let go of, just allowing you the opportunity to control that timing and possibly having your opponent just like fall into your attack. Super nice, especially for aerial attacks. With her attacks, she's a pretty straightforward sword fighter, but her specials make her super unique. Again, the down special, awesome. Side special throws the projectile sword. If our opponent is stuck like that, we actually teleport doing it again to our opponent, allowing for some awesome combos. Keep in mind, you will teleport to that knife wherever you throw it. So if you miss and you still teleport, you're probably going to die. So just be mindful of where you throw it and where it actually lands. Now, let's say the knife is on cooldown. What would you do then? You actually do a spinning sword attack that breaks armor and is a pretty good kill move, actually. But by far, Arya's most interesting move is her face still move. And this is the most interesting move, in my opinion, in the game. Standard neutral attack steals your opponent's face and allows you to use a move from them. So right now, we can either use a ground attack or aerial attack from Shag. So if we do on the ground, we just press neutral again. We do as a side special. Or if we do it in the air, we actually steal Shaggy's aerial upward special. And that looks like this. But yes, Arya steals two moves from every single character ground and in the air moves. And if you want to find out what all those moves are, go ahead and click into this video right here. I made a video showcasing all the moves that she steals from every single character, including herself. It makes for some really fun combos and your opponent just never expects it. The best way to pull that off is inside of a combo. So you can do like side attack, face steal, dodge cancel into more combos like this. Messerama Phase Tail because it's one of the most interesting moves in the entire game, in my opinion. Makes for some super fun combos. And some of the moves she steals from characters are so sick. Let's go ahead and talk about Arya's best KO moves or her most powerful ones. Side Air is really good. Up Air is a really good move as well. Up Special is really good, but you want to follow that up with an aerial side attack or aerial up attack like this. Her Down Air is a great spike you can charge. On cooldown, her Side Special is pretty dang good too. Her neutral air attack is actually the spinning knife that hits multiple times. But that'll actually break armor if you hit it right. Doesn't necessarily kill, but can help in a lot of situations. Her neutral charge attack is a great hit. So yeah, mainly her aerial normal attacks charged or ground neutral attack. Or ground up attack charged. Now let's go ahead and talk about Arya's neutral game. What do you want to do in this situation right here? Trying to approach your opponent, they're trying to approach you. What do you do? You are the glass cannon, so you want to do damage. You want to get in their face first. In a combo, you can do side special. That way, if you hit him away, teleport right to him and then kill him. You want to try and face steal in a combo as well. So you can use their move against themselves. You want to be doing two things this entire time. Always making sure your knife is thrown out whenever you can. If you can land in your opponent, the better. Because you can play keep away and then say psych. But you also want to be using your down special a lot as well. Because then your next attacks and hit them from the back so you do more damage. And of course you break armor. And who doesn't want those perks whenever you can. So if you knock your opponent out or they're far away from you, do down special real quick, then get in there. Throw your knife, knock them far away, teleport, hit them again. You are just in their face left and right. You're trying to make them guess, where do I go? What do I do? Jump up, special, hit them up again. Arya's an assassin and damn, she sure acts like it. Now, what about some starting combos you can just use right out the gate? I think side attack into any special is always great. Side attack, up special into an aerial attack. 
Side attack, side special. That's not a full combo, yes. We are likely to land that knife attack, allowing for a combo later. I do side attack, down attack. That way, if they try to dodge out of it, they usually dodge like into my attack. That's always so sweet to hit. One of my favorite staple combos is side attack, face deal, dodge cancel into more combos. And in worst case scenario, you just side attack, face deal, dodge. And now at least you now you got their face. You don't really want to throw that out there because if you miss it, you're going to get punished pretty hard. Now, here are my perk recommendations when it comes to Arya. Her two signature perks are trophy and betrayal. Trophy is the one that I go for more often because it's just pretty simple. Whenever Arya knocks out an enemy, she automatically obtains their face. So it just allows you more often than not always having some kind of face deal available. Even if you can't land it in a fight, at least you always get it when you knock them out. So that way, no matter what, boom, you knock them out. And now you have their face. You can use their moves against them. Even if you couldn't land it in a combo. I love this one. Betrayal's not bad. It's really meant for duos, in my opinion. This is her duo perk, and this is her solo perk. Because this one will actually enrage your ally and also enrage Arya if she dashes to them while the dagger's in your ally. And that's cool. But even in 2v2s, I still prefer trophy personally. Because I'm more or less using my dagger move, my side special for my opponent, not really my ally. Because she is a glass cannon, I would not blame you for using stronger than ever, where you gain armor for two seconds after respawning. That can be really nice, especially playing an assassin like Arya or Harley or Marvin. I'm an assassin, I'm a glass cannon, and I play as such, so I use snowball effect more often than not. I just want that more damage personally. Last stand can be fun to use for Arya for that for that weakened effect, but but you're an assassin. You're not really going above 100 and lasting very long after that. So I like to go for the speed force assist where I just am faster. Arya's already pretty quick, so to be even faster is just awesome. Be quicker and do more damage in my opinion. That's how I play. So I use Pugilist for just the more melee damage. Because Arya is doing a lot of melee damage anyways. So more damage, then I'm faster. More damage if I want it here. Or have the armor after you spawn. And then trophy. Those are my recommendations. That's what I use and I love it. Let me know down below what do you think of Arya in multiverses? Do you like her? Do you hate her? Do you main her? She's one of my mains and I absolutely love her. If this video helped you out, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe here for more multiverses content because we have new videos twice a week and we stream twice a week. And who doesn't want more content? Take it one step at a time and go ahead and click into these videos next for more multiverses guides, news, tutorials, and more.